It seems to have started when I was very young. Like most human beings, I was born with a natural affinity for trees. So I grew up climbing trees, recreating in forests, and when I grew older I began exploring the ancient temperate rainforests near where I grew up in Vancouver, Canada. In university, I ended up studying forest conservation, and it was really during my time there that my understanding of forests and their importance for human well-being really took off. So this is a story about my philosophy in life, which is that the more we learn about forests, the greater appreciation we have for them and the better job we'll do taking care of them. And it's about how I apply this philosophy using film, storytelling and science. The story begins in my bachelor degree at University of British Columbia, where I undertook an initiative to help engage people in my local city to go out for a walk in the woods. My name is Ira Sutherland and I'm a member of the UBC Ancient Forest Committee. We take people out on hikes to go see big trees around Vancouver. I think it's important when you live in a big city like Vancouver to make sure that you get out of the city every now and then because you know the city can be it can be stressful at times and uh, there's really no better way to get rid of all that stress than to go out for a nice hike in the forest. Right at the mouth of the Capilano River you can pick up a trail that sort of meanders through second growth forest and then eventually you pass under the upper levels highway and you start heading into the Capilano old growth area. As you go up you might start noticing some really big trees uh, these are big Douglas firs, 50, 60, 70 meters tall. Eventually, if you're on the right track, you'll arrive at this huge tree, this giant Douglas fir that's, oh, it's maybe two and a half, three meters wide. It's got a little fence around it. This is called the Grandpa Capilano because it's kind of a legacy of uh, the past generation of forests. This Douglas fir is beautiful. It just stretches right up into the misty sky. It's, it's quite a spectacular sight to visit. I really value these forests. I find them very revitalizing and beautiful. And a cool thing about going to visit big trees is not just to see the big tree in, its, in itself, but it gives you a purpose to get out there. You know, it's a motivation and it makes it into a real adventure rather than just a walk in the woods. After I completed my undergrad degree, I undertook a one-year bicycle-powered expedition to visit the tallest trees in North America. Most of the largest trees in the world are located along the Pacific coast of the United States, and I saw huge trees there. And also huge trees throughout Central America, including in Panama, where I spent several weeks working with the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute, helping the Kuna indigenous people measure carbon stocks in their... Uh, remote rainforests in eastern Panama. After getting a sense of the personal reward and also the societal benefit of doing research, I decided to undertake a master's degree in McGill University, Montreal, Canada. So we know it doesn't take long to cut down an old growth forest, a forest that's grown for hundreds of years, but what we don't know is how long it takes such forests to recover. My name is Ira Sutherland, I'm a master's student at McGill University and I study the recovery of BC rainforest following logging. So forests provide our society with a number of important benefits, including things like wild edible plants and medicines. The trees store carbon inside them which helps regulate the global climate, and some species such as red cedar have an essential role in First Nations culture. I study the recovery of these benefits following logging, using two approaches. The first approach is I use an existing government data set to track their 250 year recoveries. The second is I visit forests and with help from local First Nations, together we contrast the benefits provided by a young forest and an old forest. This research will help us minimize the impacts of forestry which occur across the broad landscapes of Canada, and will help us target which ecosystems are the best candidates for restoration. Now that my thesis is almost done, I'm more prepared than ever to engage people in understanding the importance of forests. And I have two objectives. The first is to expand an internet site I've already began called VancouversBigTrees.com. It's a free online hiking guide intended to help engage people in the city of Vancouver to understand and interact with and visit ancient trees around them. The second objective is to write a book called The Forest Cycle. It's a book about what I've learned through science, through my bicycle journeys to visit big trees, and through my own explorations in the ancient temperate rainforests near where I grew up.